Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I wanna to show you how to make this super cute, isn't it always super cute, right? Fun little treat holder idea for you. So it's got this little belly band, this little guy just slips right off and then you just lift this up. And of course there's like a little slot for some chocolate or whatever, maybe you can put some gum or something in there and then this just slides right back on. So I do have to tell you, and this is not my original design. I went to an event that Rhonda Wade held a couple of years ago, and I believe it was either Rhonda or maybe even Erica Sirwin from Pink Buckaroo Designs who originally um, designed this uh, treat. It was more of a fall theme with a cute little scarecrow over here, but I just want to make sure to give credit because this wasn't my original design. I just basically updated it with current products that we're using um, in our new or current holiday catalog, the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. So I'll show you the products that we're using as we kind of go through um, the step-by-step -step on how we put this little baby together. So let's start with, uh, we have a piece of this is real red cardstock and it measures three inches by 11 inches. And I'm gonna grab my new paper trimmer here. I'm gonna pop that right down there. Actually, I'm gonna open that little baby up. And are you guys gonna be able to see? I'm trying to make sure I've got this in the view. There we go. Okay, so cutting blade there, scoring blade there. We're gonna make sure we're gonna score only at, we need to score at three inches at three and a half inches, and then at seven and a half inches. So we're gonna scoot that down there. So three, three and a half, and seven and a half inches. And that's all you need your little paper score or trimmer for. Now we are gonna fold on each of our score marks. I'm trying to see them now. And then that little, so you can see there's a little half inch score right there. So this is the idea. What we want to do is grab our classic label punch and on the kind of bottom that has the two score marks, we're gonna slip this classic label punch in all the way. And you wanna make sure you have it so that it's centered kind of from side to side. So push that in all the way, make sure there's really not much red card stock showing on either side and punch that little baby out. Then we are going to put a couple of dimensionals just on the back of that little baby right there. And then this just kind of folds up to form the little pocket. And then this piece is just gonna fold down like that. We do wanna do some stamping on here, so we are gonna do that right now. I purposefully put it together. You could stamp all over it, but I just wanted to stamp on this top flap. And I got a little confused about where the top flap was until I put it together. So that's why I decided to do that first, which is a little unusual. I would probably say usually I would stamp and then put things together. But like I said, I wanted to make sure I really um, stamped on just the top flap. And you can see I'm kind of flipping the stamp around. I don't want it to go kind of the same direction all the way around. So this was real red ink with, I should show you, I love, this is the Snowman Season Stamp Set. So we are gonna use that cute little snowman in a sec. And then I love the kind of whimsical little um, snowflakes there too. So that's what I use to stamp around the edges of that piece with my real red ink, okay? So there's kind of the base of it, right? Let me scoot that little baby away. Um, so let's see, next we can grab, I have a piece of, this is more of the Let It Snow designer series paper. You can see the fun snowflakes with the little red, um, red snowflakes also, right? And then some cute little hats on this side. So we are gonna now grab, I have my <clears throat> Banner Triple Punch. Oh, and I should tell you, this is two inches by, let me make sure, it's 11. Yep, two by 11 is the strip of designer series paper. And I'm just gonna slide it in here and I'm gonna punch both ends of our two inch wide strip with my banner triple punch. And I'm just gonna kind of fold this in half like that, right? Then you can kind of slip it around here and I just wanna kind of hold it in place, and then I'm going to use, um, what is this? This is a stapler. I'm gonna use a stapler, and I'm just gonna kind of staple that together. Now we're gonna kind of decorate on top of our belly band. So we're gonna set that baby aside. We are, I decided I wanted, this one I used uh, blueberry bushel cardstock for this star, but I wanted to try, I wanted to see what Coastal Cabana would look like, my star in Coastal Cabana. So I have my die cutting machine, and I have, the awesome stitched stars dies. 
So we are going to use, these are all of the star dies that you can get in the stitched stars dies. This is the second largest uh, star <laughs> in the stitched stars dies. That is like a mouthful to say. So we're just gonna put that right down on there. We have our magnetic plate, our platform, one clear pad underneath, our paper, our die with the ridges down so they cut, and then one more clear plate on top. And that's your sandwich to run through your die cutting machine. And then this, and this is kind of fun too. You can, can you see, maybe, there we go. The stitching is all around the outside edge of the star too. So you could even use this piece. This would be fun, kind of that negative what's left over. Or we've got this one right here too. So that star with the stitching around the inside. So you can see it's kind of double stitching inside and outside of your star. So very cool, huh? Okay. So we've got that, just one little thing to die cut there. I have to bring this back into view so I make sure I do what I'm supposed to be doing here, folks. Okay, so we are going to grab, I was finding, I like to stamp on my little Stampin' Pierce mat. I've got my black Memento ink, and I am going to ink up. And I probably, probably what the problem is, is I need to re-ink this Memento ink pad. Um, as I'm thinking about it, but since we're in the middle of the video, we're going to just press really firmly. Beautiful. Get all that ink off of our stamp and onto our clear or onto our Whisper White cardstock. Now we are going to use our Snowman Builder Punch. Going to slide this baby in here. And this is one, these punches are messy. If you're making a bunch of these things, you're going to get little bits all over the place, and that's okay. You can save those, oops, save those little arms for something else, little hands. Um, let's see, I think we are good with stamping. Yeah, uh, no, let's do, we might as well since I have the little pad out here. This is a little um, strip that measures, it's Whisper White cardstock, it measures one by three and a quarter inches. And we are gonna, again, grab our real red ink. And, oh, let me show you, this is a super cute stamp set. I was trying to find something little that would fit on that strip and I ended up with my Everything Festive stamp set and this little Winter Wonderland, again, because it's got those fun little whimsical um, snowflakes on there too. But you can see a great stamp set that is not just for holiday time, right? We've got From Our Home to Yours, you could use that any time of year, right? P.S. I Love You, kind of a Valentine-y, maybe a love theme. No Tricks, Just Treats, Merry and Bright, The Winter Wonderland, Be My Valentine, and Wishing You Peace and Love and Laughter in the New Year. So great stamp set. And just so you know, I will give you item codes for everything that we are using on this project in the details to the YouTube video. And while I'm mentioning YouTube too, if you are enjoying the video, make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button. I love to hear from you too, comments. I love to hear uh, questions if you have any. So I basically just love to hear from you. So we just punched that out with, again, the little, the banner triple punch. So I used that both on that piece and that piece right there too. Okay, I think we just have a little bit more punching. I'm gonna grab, this is just a little strip of black cardstock, basic black cardstock. So we wanna get his arms or hands, and then over on the other side, we are gonna punch out the little, what's that? That's the hat, Amy, that's the hat. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna put these little babies right on here, because we're gonna build our snowman. I find that it's easiest to work with, you guys can see that, right? Yep, with my little silicone mat. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on these things. And what I love is when I run this adhesive, if I run off the edge of the black cardstock, like in this case, or on either side of my little arms, it doesn't stick to anything. So that's why we use this little craft sheet. And then to kind of build him up too. So we can put that one right there. And then I loved to just kind of lay him down on these. I thought that was almost easier, kind of pick him up. Let's see, we'll angle him a little bit more. There, okay, so I'm gonna press firmly on all of that. I am gonna use, I brought my, <clears throat> this is my Stampin' Blends, my pumpkin pie dark marker, and I just wanna give him, if I can get it open, um, just a little orange nose right there. We're gonna make his nose, a little carrot orange nose, right? Okay, now we're gonna flip him over and add a couple dimensionals. The other thing that I kind of intentionally do is I try to catch the edges of um, the arms and then the hat, oops, to his body. That helps to make sure 
that I hold everything in place, right? We are also going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of our little star here too. Okay, and one more. We're going to put one on that little guy right there too. All right, I think those are all the dimensionals that we need. So let's scoot this stuff out of the way. We're going to grab our little pack back. We are going to peel off the backs of our dimensionals here too and pop that little baby. Ooh, I like the, the Coastal Cabana too. Hmm, I think they're both fun, whichever color you prefer. There's definitely the blueberry bushel um, is in some of the designer series paper too, but I'm making these for um, the weekend retreat that my friend Melissa and I are holding down in Lansing, Michigan this weekend, and I had to use a bunch of that uh, Let It Snow designer series paper. Some of it doesn't have the blueberry bushel. It only has Coastal Cabana accents in it. So I wanted to try it out with Coastal Cabana too and see what did I think, right? Okay, so last step, one more little bit here. I have a couple. I used a few different colors because I loved these really pretty blue. So we're gonna use one of the little blue. So again, kind of tying back to our blueberry bushel. So these are part of the Noble Peacock rhinestones. And then over here, I had um, some of these, the red basic rhinestone jewels left. You can see it comes in a whole sheet. I've used a ton of them, but I had some left and I love that bright real red. So I'm going to pop that right on there. And then, oh, we can't forget to put our little tree inside, right? So again, that just slides right off. This opens up. He slides right in there, right? Fits perfectly. And then we just slide our belly band right back on there. And that is it. So what do you guys think? What's your vote? Do you like the Coastal Cabana or the Blueberry Bushel? I think they're both cute, right? And the little snowmen. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cute little treats today. I hope you were ink inspired today. Make sure I do Facebook Live videos most every Friday. So come join me for Facebook Live on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group every Friday at 11.30 a.m. The fun thing is I do giveaways every single Friday. You get your name in the drawing to win a giveaway that I do. You also get the cards that I demonstrate on Facebook Live just for putting in an online order that week. So more details, you can get all my details at the, my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Like I said, I will have all the item codes for everything that we used on these projects here in the details to this YouTube video right down there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button too. I love to hear from you guys and have you a part of my stamping group. So see you guys soon. Bye everybody.